coming live from the command center at JW Solar USA. It has been a while. We haven't made a video. I'm just busy with life and work. So guys, this is what I have for you guys today. And this is a, a portable um, power generator or survival kit. Uh, SHFT something. And uh, this is what it is. So I built this with uh, two um, LED lights on the back, which shows uh, white lights. And uh, we got an amber light here, which I will explain to you later. And um, is a USB 3.0 right here. Is a blue port. There you go. And you have a PD for fast charging or new technology with cell phones and tablets and some of the other um, laptops nowadays have this kind of USB Type C. So it's a quick charge 3.0. So right here I have a, um, charging thing which can do up to about 45 watt on two uh, charging USB type C type C so you can see right there 45 and 45 is a 90 it has a power button here you can press and uh, um, waterproof thing you can lock it up like this and we get a LED just like a headlight so I designed to make a headlight charging port charging port here is a cigarette lighter so we can use this for charging or discharging if we want to charge it from a car and we want to uh, use like a portable inverter 12 volts we can be able to do that amber color so like a headlight and likewise here the same thing I've done here and that's the same thing I did here so there's another charging port here the USB Type C charging the same 45 45 watts each, and uh, you get like a kind of headlights here, and the same thing here cigarette lighter. But I'm gonna switch all these cigarette lighter, it's gonna come to the front so it can be just like this one right here. I can remove this and bring it back here on the side. So we can able to access, or I can leave this one here, it depends on the location, how you're going to be traveling this, maybe your charging station is going to be on your left or right, so we can able to access it. But I just want all the chargers um, where we can charge our phones, and we can able to be on the same side. So if you can see, fast charging, and a volt voltmeter. Power. and here I decided to put um, the LEDs but they are red in color so I can use that in different I will explain about the lights and when you come here is the same thing it's another charger right here but this is different and so this, these are all 12 and 24 volt application so this one can give you the volt and this one can with the amps. So USB type three, so it's only one charger. So I can able to use this and plug another adapter right here that has um, like three, four, five USB charging ports. So it put from one, then you can distribute to the rest of the other one extension. So if you look at it, it, it will tell you Specific voltage and you got DC is a is a quick charge the QC 3.0 current so back here is that the LEDs I set up for that um, for this gonna be like when you have a reverse lights where you can use them for reading you want to see more clarity on something then we can turn these ones on but I haven't got the uh, uh, switches yet 
the, the switch the switches to turn on and off so these ones are red red lights you know if you guys uh, if you remember if you on the military or you are on uh, law enforcement you can see um, the police normally have their stuff like uh, reading license plates at night or something they don't just turn the bright lights on they have a red lights inside the cabin then they can able to more more kind of kind of hibernation or something they don't even know who that person is inside but they have the computer and they have a um, red lights inside we can read the license plate it's easier to read on kind of um lights like this ones instead of reading a bright light because you blind your face your eyes and you're trying to adjust your retina, you're trying to adjust, uh, adjust the light on your eyes while you're going to be on the dark. Turn that dome light off, then later you end up um, pursuing whatever you're doing. Doing your patrols or whatever. Or maybe hunting, speed traps and all that stuff. So your eyes is going to be really hard to um, adjust itself. So with this kind of lights, it makes it easier. So now we have amber lights here. The amber lights for emergency in case I carry this um, system with me and end up being like um, a breakdown or something. I can able to take this one old box and place it on top of my car and activate these guys here to see like a hazard, you know, cautioning. Some people normally use a flare, uh, like they can put on the on the on the on the on the road to indicate there's an accident ahead, or maybe there's something, maybe a wide angle, a wide angle vehicle, like a, a semi breakdown, or maybe someone is working on something, or they need attention or help. So um, I can activate this, but this one purposely again when you're out there in the woods or anything, you need amber. Because the bright lights, LEDs, attract mosquitoes and all these things. But the amber lights, when you see when they have it, um, when you have like a street lights and you have like a parking lot light or private companies or more other things, they have these kind of things because like mayflies, this one deter mayflies and distract them. They don't come through amber lights, which are like yellow we can call yellow lights so they don't come close to you you don't want when you're camping and um, you have LED lights they attract the mosquitoes attract all these uh, insects that's gonna bite or just disturb you so much that you're not gonna have your own peace so that's why I have these ones here and I can only activate these ones if I have to like maybe um, looking for something or maybe trying to um, install something or cooking in the woods or whatever or you need some bright light just to show what it is <clears throat> and the front ones you can see the way I coordinate and it's just like a headlight you can see the eyes right here like eyes so this is how like a car like these are driving lights and uh, here is the back lights or the uh, park lights or brake lights so that's what it is. I have the red ones, but I just want to stay with these colors. I don't want to utilize all my resources on this one box. So I have a lot. I got to show you more of these I got to build. But I haven't got to put a battery yet. So these are all the wiring in there. I haven't done that yet. I haven't put all the switches or breakers, you call them, or fuses. But this is what it is. I'm giving you what, I, what I've done here. So this is just like a little tote I have, but um, here is a battery. If you guys remember a while back when Go Kilowatt sent us this battery, like I said, I don't have nothing to do with these batteries. You see, if if I have four of them or two of them, is more to take advantage of was one battery. So I don't operate mostly on 12 volt system unless I build something like this. So we decided to use this. Is a um, it has the manual here, built-in BMS, and that's the model number. 
and uh, Life PO4 batteries. And um, I think it's a 12, 1280. Yeah, 1280. 1280 watt hours. It's an underdone battery in there. So we want to, this is going to be inside this box right here. Right? It's going to be right in the box. So we're going to set it up this way. And you will see how we're going to utilize this system efficiently. And um, if you like what I'm doing right here, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel right here at the command center in Minnesota. So it's going to be inside the box. Let's spin it around. I already tested the LEDs to make sure they all work, but it's not like properly wired yet. So stay tuned for that and see what we're gonna bring you live from this channel. Bye from now.